Kaede makes a Danganronpa rewrite where Shuichi is the protagonist. Wow. Huh. Hmm. Yep. That's the intro. You have reminiscences about that. There's baby or sorry, this is this is real nice. It's real fancy. It, it even feels real nice. This just feels right. Maybe we were overacting with this whole multiverse breaking. United States Aviator, Toon Link, Dave, Bravo, Dave, Anomaly, you know, more cars here of the Radiance. Shining brightly and bring you, live chat, the tag team premiere of the wait for it. Don Gonorampa Hunger Games espionage has been on a little run as of late. Won the Tag Team Championships in a massive episode, then retained those Tag Team Championships at the end of last season. 1 in 12 chance that they retain again. Can they do it? They got 11 other teams who are trying to stop them. And those 11 other teams, without further ado, I think we just need to introduce them because tag team titles are on the line. It's the premiere as premiere weekend continues. It is. Espionage. Fat Togami and Yelan. Kai sitting out. And I think the real focus this time is on Yelan. Yelan wants to do this for her team. Kai's had that moment. And let me tell you, Fat Togami's had that moment. Yelan wants that moment. Could it be hers today? Twin Magic was so close but so far from winning the tag team title second place in the finale, but today, it might be their day, Katoka and Katoka. Justice for all, Just Samurai 1 and Arthur. Just Samurai 1, <laughs> undoubtedly somehow an icon in the series. Can he do it with Arthur? The dude detectives, Keiji and Shuichi, started, they, they, won, they won the titles last time. They did. Can they do it back to back? It's possible. Dinner party also. Former champions, could they also do it? Kanji. He's taking a step back. He said, you know what? I was just, I was just the W. I'm sorry, the A W E. Champion Slayer. Champ Beater. Beat Gatekeeper in Friday Night Inferno. And apparently there's we'll get to that a little bit later. Clean sweep. We have Seiko and Liam. Mommy Milkers. Hiroko and the Raiden Shogun, and I'll tell you what, this this team has a little dissension. Hiroko attacked the third member of their team, Camilla, and put her out of action in the AWE. Can they win today? With Raiden trying to be Peacemaker? We'll see. Gamer Score, Gamer Score, Mitarai, and Kaye Day. Magic Carpet Ride, Hajime, and Yukiko. Couples Counseling, Mew, and Yuta. Hall of Famer Mew, and I'll be frank, definitely future Hall of Famer Yuta. Could this, could this be their shining achievement together? Spoken Word is the team that we really want to look at and we want to take a moment to talk about. Their third partner, Tiki, is the champion of champions. If they are able to pull through for her, they will all hold gold. And more importantly, perhaps most importantly, Tiki walks in to a season as a double champion unheard of. And lastly, Blank Canvas, your Agents of Chaos. And this is where you have to point out that if Blank Canvas takes that victory, it's the first ever Chaos Transferal. So, I think that's that's all I got. So, what? Make your picks live, Jeff. First, second, third. I will make mine as well. And we have, there's like so much. There, uh, there's a lot of moving parts in this episode. Um, but while I have you, while you're making your picks, actually, let's do... This, I I guess? Like, so, I'm gonna play this. Friday Night Inferno is returning, I think, on June 16th. I think. It's a real big I think. Yeah, so, there's been, like, this mystery date of June 16th. If you look on the website, it looks like it's a little glitchy going. I don't want to... <laughs> Essentially, Wins Davy has had to put together, scrap together, a show, and here's some of the matches that you will be seeing. Already announced, Boss versus Camilla. Camilla finally cleared to compete. Her body may never be exactly the same way again. 
And whose fault is that? Why is Camilla like this? Boss threw her into a massive light used for lighting in the AWE and tried to essentially get rid of her for good. But Camilla fought back. She may have lost her title, but she knows good and well that she has a title opportunity in the future at AV Mania. That being said, this grudge match is going to be intense, but that's not the only match that is announced so far. At the start of the tag team number one contender, or tag team contenders match rather, Miku started off injured, and I bet everyone's kind of wondering at this point why is that the case. Well, I have checked, and now I know. Miku was attacked before that match, but still had the wherewithal to fight back and fight in that match. Although they did not get the championship opportunity, Miku will have a chance to get her revenge in a Who Attacked Miku match? It'll be last person standing. A last man standing match between Miku and her assailant? Who is it? I'm not sure. But I think most importantly right here, right now, I think I... Because... It was announced that at every single show, one of the table's championships will be on the line. It is now Arvin's turn, and you guys have a set of selections for who, who, you guys want to face Arvin. And that poll is now live on the US Aviator website. Go and vote there. Friday Inferno is technically a week away now. I don't know what's going on, and like, I should like blame Wednesday Davey, but I think Wednesday Davey gets like a pass for like the whole next week because of this jacket. Friday Night Inferno, coming to you soon. And by soon, I mean, well, next week. Get excited, I guess I'm excited, I'm also slightly worried and concerned. But I mean, that just comes with the, the nature of breaking the multiverse. Uh, hit that music again. <sighs> Let me make my picks. For first, I'm gonna take Clean Sweep. For some reason, I think Seiko's gonna do it again. I think Seiko's gonna really try and submit her, her status as, I wanna do it again. She is a Hall of Famer with Band-Aid. I think she wants to submit that status on her own right. She wants to be in like the singles Hall of Fame, like she won the singles championship. Then look at all of these teams that she brought to glory. I think Seiko is going to make another notch on her achievement belt. Give me Seiko for first and clean sweep. For second, I'm gonna take Blank Canvas for the Chaos Transferal for the first time. And for third, I'm going to take Dinner Party. I think they're gonna be two-time champions. I don't know why, I just feel like it's time. I think after Kanji's win, they have momentum again. Like Chi-Chi had a big win and they got momentum. I think it's time, I think that's what's gonna unfold. But those are my picks, you guys have made yours, and without further ado, I think we need to start this episode and I shouldn't turn the microphone away from me. But I'll tell you what I can turn away from me. M my hand to wave <laughs> at you. <laughs> Hi guys. You know what we need to do, we gotta start the episode, and the only way to do that is to... Wait for it, wait for it! Whoa, whoa, no, 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 ooh. Where did you get that? Ugh. Asner, we can't, we can't play around with that. You guys can't, I don't even want to touch it. It's a small vial? of green stuff. Ugh. I don't know where you got that. You have to tell me after this where you got that from because that is concerning. If it is here, who brought it here? Unless you're trying to alert me that someone brought it here. We gonna roll this and live in fear apparently. Two. We've been rolling a lot of twos. Dawn Olympics continue. Or rather, they will officially start racking up points this coming Thursday when we meet the teams. However, for right now, we're re-simulating not one time, but for the Dawn on Rob the Hunger Games Tag Team Championships. Twice. Blank Canvas, your Agents of Chaos. Spoken Word, Couples Counseling, Magic Carpet Ride, Gamer Score, Mommy Milkers, Clean Sweep, Dinner Party. The Dude Detectives, Justice for All, Twin Magic, all fighting for Espionage's Tag Team Titles.
can they successfully defend, or will we have new champions on our hands? Let's click proceed, and we shall see. The tribute sound of their ponies and the horn bears, they sound the horns. Are they doing that? Yeah, are they? Oh, they are. Thank you, Horn Bears, because a championship is now on the line. Proceed us again, please. Thank you. Yuta runs away from the cornucopia. Angie travels in from a past game in her blue police callbacks. Hajime arrives at the arena. His memory's completely wiped. The sole thing he can remember is his name. He doesn't understand. He doesn't know. He's like, where am I? Um, Arthur completely ignores the, <coughs> ignores the opening ceremony, rather, playing video games with Yelon instead. Mew runs away from the cornucopia. Raiden grabs a honey glazed ham. Seiko stabs Justice Hammer one with a tree branch. For all of you hoping for Justice Hammer one to walk out with a title, Arthur is your only hope. Chi Chi takes a sickle from the cornucopia. Keiji finds a Takamoto dragon. The reptile says that she is Kaye Day. Asner plays a curse on Kaye Day. And the only way the, uh, the, the curse can be broken is for Kai, uh, Keiji, rather, not Kanji, to kiss her. Keiji reluctantly obliges kissing Kai a day? Turning her back to normal, unfortunately, kiss what's venomous for Keiji. Well, that's unfortunate. Mitsurai and Lian try and find a way to escape. Karumi stabs Hiroko in the back while, uh, while, she's, while her back is turned, rather. I wonder if it was a tree branch, because so far, we're two for two on tree branches, if that is the case. A stray bolt of lightning causes Kotoko and Kazuha to switch bodies. My gosh. Saika and Fatogami engage in a friendly knife fight. Shuichi runs away from the cornucopia, so does Yukiko and Yusuke as Kotoka rides into the arena on a flying bison. How delightful, but... That was just the bloodbath, and I think we only lost two. What else will unfold? Let's proceed and we shall see. Uh-oh. <laughs> Fat Togami kills Yelon with a sickle. Uh-oh. That is tag team on tag team violence. I, um... Let's see if it works, Beth Togami. Angie almost falls off a cliff, but is able to earth bend her way to safety. Leon hates how, how he acted in the past. Disgusted by what he did, Leon wants to move past this phase of his life and actively become a better person. Cannon! Uh, right in Shogun, Yusuke, Shuichi, and Yuta play cards. Kazuha uses Bubble Sucks and Zelda instead of Hajime, which fails because there's nothing to suck out. Kotoko thinks everyone is the mastermind. You're the mastermind! You're the mastermind! You and Chad, who just typed three seconds ago, you are the mastermind! It was you all along. Uh, Seiko smells a rat. Mitsurai gets this gift from her secret admirer. It's a giant stuffed bear. When are these secret admirers gonna start delivering some, some fatal things? Like, Mitsurai received a gift from her secret admirer. Oh, it's a bomb! Explosion. Saika thinks everyone's the mastermind too. You're the mastermind. Dave's the mastermind. Asnir probably actually the mastermind. Kaede stabs Kurumi with her sword, uh, and then revives her with the wish ring until the process uh, repeats the process rather until the wish ring burns her hand. Kurumi runs off alive. Arthur receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. Katoko, I'm sorry, Katoka and Yukiko grievously injure each other during a vicious fight in order to survive. They have to nurse each other back to health. Mew catches the despair disease and starts posing dramatically. And Chi-Chi embraces Spring and plants some roses outside of her camp. I'm sure they're lovely. Don't forget about watering them. We lost four. One of them, Tag Team Champion. And I must say, it's the saddest of all moments for. Justice Hammer 1, Keiji, Hiroko, Yelon. Well, all right. You hate to see it, but no team is completely out. Everyone still has a shot, because we only lost four and no full teams are out. I mean, that's that's how this goes. Espionage, though, could have still been completely in if Fat Togami didn't take out his own partner. If they don't win this match, it's all on Fat Togami's head. Imagine how Yelon's going to react to that, even if they do win. Imagine how Yelon's going to react to that. We must proceed and we will see how this game plays out and at the start. Katoka dyes her hair orange. She's a ginger now. Fatsugami is by, bitten by a black mamba, but Yusuke has some anti-venom. Saves the champion's life. Agent of Chaos saving champion? Who would've thunk? Mew 
poisons Hajime's drink but it mistakes it for her own and does indeed perish. Katoko cuts off both of Kaede Dei's arms. Seiko accidentally sticks her hand in the campfire she just made. She's got third degree burns. Mitra, Yuta, Chichi, and the Raiden Shogun tell each other ghost stories to lighten the mood. Angie finds the secret stack of pancakes that I hypothetically hinted at. Shuichi attempts to sneak into the back rooms of Yoko's items and misfortunes but gets seen by Lian, an employee of the store. Hate that. Saiga slices the Kurumi's eyes and is now blind. In anyone else's hands, a microphone is just a microphone, but in Yukiko's hands, it's a pipe bomb, which he uses to blow up Arthur. To everyone who was hoping that Justice Hammer 1 would claim victory and become a champion, well, you can blame Yukiko. And Kazuha puts on a suave top hat, how fancy, he's a fanciest boy. We proceed to day two that says, listen here, Angie does not like Katoka. How do you not like everyone loves Katoka? She's gonna bark at her now, though. Fatsugami, we go way back. I do like the ultimate imposter story. Uh, Seiko drinks cactus juice and starts to hallucinate. You should know better. Lian dyes his hair gold. Shuichi asks AV if he can be in the World Pancake Championship. Shuichi, my lad. No. Katoko somehow manages to delete Kazuha, Sayaka, and Hajime from existence while just saying just Katoko and Tiki just like that will not walk out as a double champion all because of Katoko. As Kurumi, she took out the whole team there and Hajime. Uh, Kurumi sets up an ice cream stand. Chichi joins us, Kurumi's faithful assistant. Yuta plants flowers around Yusuke's grave. Yusuke screams from behind him, hello, I'm still alive. Yuta simply says, for now, Raiden takes Kaede Day to Suplex City. And Yukiko plays patty cake with young Mitarai will proceed. We lost quite a few more that day. Not that many more, actually. Just five. Thought it was more. But now we slowly tiptoe, tiptoe, tiptoe to our final... How many did we lose the first day? Was it four? It was four. As we tiptoe to our time, the, the, our final 15, as we hit the saddest of all moments, four. Mew, Arthur, Kazuha, Saika, Hajime. Well, the show must go on. Now we have some teams that are completely out, and I think it's just two, Justice for All and Spoken Word. Yeah, everyone else still has an opportunity, most teams, yeah, most teams are still completely in. Fat Tagami's by himself, but Twin Magic completely in. Dinner Party completely in. Dude Texture Saw Shuichi clean sweeps completely in. So is Gamer Score. Uh, Mommy Mookers has the Raiden Shogun. Blink Canvas for the Chaos Transferal, both completely in. Uh, Yukiko for Magic Carpet Ride, still hanging in there. And Couples Counseling for Yuta, still going strong. Which means... It's 15 left, eh? 15, uh, 5 until you're saving grace picks, 14 until we have ourselves a winner, or maybe co-champions, who knows. Nobody, actually. Not, I guess the simulator might know, maybe? You know who doesn't know? Me. You know who's gonna find out? Me. Because we're about to click proceed and see what happens. As Karumi gets a hold of my soundboard, plays a cacophony of music as Seiko is beaten to death with it. There's still hope. Kaede puts on a suave top hat, how fancy. Katoka accidentally sticks her hand in the campfire that she made. Yusuke remnants about the year of the horizon. How delightful. Uh, Yuta receives milk supply from an unknown sponsor, Lian Stop, get some help. Angie, Yukiko, and Shuichi sit around the campfire and sing the campfire song. Katoko has a dream of Fatsogami winning. Is this a premonition or something? Who knows? Mitarai loves Raiden Shogun as much as Maki loves Kokichi and the ghostly howls of wolves. Wake up, Chichi. I don't know if we're quite at the feast range yet. I think we may still have a day to get through, but we indeed do. As Chichi accidentally blurts out the fact that she likes Lian in a non-sonic way. Lian declines the confession, saying he doesn't like her in that way. Fair enough. Kaede makes a Danganronpa rewrite where Shuichi is the protagonist. Wow. Huh. Hmm. Yep. That's the intro. You have reminiscence about the year of the ascent. Fatsugami sets up an ice cream stand. Yukiko joins his faithful assistant. Kurumi confesses how much she has come to hate Katoko. Katoko runs away crying. Yusuke wants to be a stepping stone for everyone else. Ryan Shogun thinks everyone's a mastermind. Mitsurai receives a bottle of poison from an unknown sponsor. Angie wonders if Nagito has Nagito insurance. And Katoka starts planting ceilings in her garden. Did we lose a single soul? We lost just a single soul. It was indeed my pick, and it's also sad for her. Hit it. Just hit the music. Seiko. But her dreams are not memes yet. Because as we see everybody's statuses, and we'll just do it real quick because Seiko's the only one who's gone, 14 remain. Lian still carries on for her. Can you win it for her though? Let's find out. Four more into your saving grace picks. Will we see the feast this time around? Uh, we're about to find out. Kurumi challenges Avi in Battleship? Kurumi sinks my Battleship while well, I wasn't gonna beat Kurumi, let's be honest. Chi Chi gets captured by the repairman, is never heard from again. 
repairman. Where is he? Lian submits an application to join the squad. Katoka rips, uh, snatches the application, rips it out of his hands. Fatsugami gets distracted. Uh, Yusuke begs for Yuta to kill him. He refuses keeping Yusuke alive. Shuichi, Yukiko, Angie enter a scrum with Mitsurai, Katoko, and the Raiden Shogun. Argue over who the best boy in Dangarapa is. Kaye Dei attempts to climb a tree but falls to her death, leaving Mitsurai, young Mitsurai, alone as we enter our final 12, which I believe is just enough to see. Not the feast, apparently. I'm incorrect. <laughs> I was betting on it, too. Uh, Raiden Shogun uses righteous anger and yeets Yusuke out of, uh, into oblivion, not out of oblivion. Kurumi isn't crying, she's sweating from her eyes. Shuichi reminds you, yes, you, dear viewer, to stay hydrated. Well, I'm almost out of water, that's unfortunate. However, Angie's trapped in a box, a small device. Like, can release a deadly poison every hour, she dead, is she alive? You can only find out if we click proceed. Avi confuses Yuta for Hilda, how? Well. Yuta's wife, Mew, wears pink. Hilda is pink, and speaking of pink, someone's a sacrifice but does indeed survive. Because young Mitarai, Lian, Katoko, Fatogami, Yukiko, and Katoka are all forced to play the majority game. Katoka receives the most votes, unfortunately for the others, she is a sacrifice, so she chooses someone else not to get executed along with her. She does not choose her sister, surprisingly enough. She chooses Yukiko not to be executed. But you know what that means, Fatogami is indeed out, which means... It's a new champ alert. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, we'll proceed unless there's an arena event. There's not. We are well within that time. We're well within that time. Your, your time to make some new picks. So let me get the last saddest of all moments for. Chichi, Kaye Day, Yusuke, Mitarai, Lian, Katoko, Fat Togami. Let's see everybody's statuses. We are down to... Seven, right? Yes, we are indeed down to seven. So, we're gonna have new champs. And in terms of the teams that are left, there are two teams because you could earn it for a second time. And let's just see, let's make it happen, actually. You know what it's time for seven people, seven teams. It's a free for seven. And it is Saving Grace Picks. Time for you to make some new picks in live chat. Comments. Do what you have to do to make your new picks known in the live chat. Just make them for say right now. First X, second X, third X. Comments. You know how to do it too. I'm gonna go through who you have left and what they are holding on to for hope. Twin Magic, Katoko, and Katoka for Katoka, who is the only one still alive. She just wants to win this one for her tag team partner. They are the current AWE tag team champions. They're gonna have to defend, not this coming. Quote unquote Friday Night Inferno, I'm still unsure. Um, but coming up, the next actual, hopefully, Friday Night Inferno, who knows what's going on anymore, they're gonna have to defend those titles, but today they could win some more tag team gold. Will the sisters come together? The dude detectives Shuichi is still around for them. They could start this season much how they started, much like how they started last season, with some tag team gold with a Shuichi win. Bringing it home. Dinner party, Kurumi. Wants to do it for Chi Chi and Kanji, who just beat the AWE champion. Mommy Milkers, the Raiden Shogun. Fairly new. Wants to win the tag team gold for Hiroko and Camilla, trying to bring them together in what seems to be an impossible feat. Magic Carpet Ride sees Yukiko. Wants to do it for Hajime and Takamichi. Really a fun team and a fun team name, but they've never had that moment of glory, that moment of victory, can that be today? Couples Counseling, Yuta wants to bring his wife a title that she has never held the Tag Team Championships. Can she do, or can he do it? I'm sure that would smooth over a lot of the counseling that they would have needed. Can Yuta win it for Jatara? And can Yuta win it for Mew? Lastly, Angie still remains. If Angie does this, it's the first ever Chaos Transfer. We could see the titles go from the Ages of Chaos to the Champions, and then switch over the Chaos to Espionage. 
Could it happen? I don't know, but I'm gonna make my picks. I know y'all have made yours. I don't need to- I don't need to baby you and say, make your picks again, over and over again. I'm gonna say, Yukiko for first, Yuta for second, and I'm gonna take Shuichi pulling off the two-peat for third. That's what I got. But I'll tell you what, I could be wrong. Many times I am. But you know what's never wrong? This song. The song that perfectly describes the intensity of the moment. Katoka. Shuichi. Kurumi. Raiden. Yukiko. Yura. Angie. Tag team titles. Seven competitors, one goal. With the same heartbeat, the same pulse, the same fate, and perhaps even the same determination as that of. A samurai woman. I think it is indeed that time. It's likely we'll see the feast, it's likely we'll be all within your final five when we click proceed and once we get to the next fall in tributes. Let's see how this plays out. Shuichi makes a hot stew before bedding down for the night. Katoka stays up all night. Raiden Shogun finds a special charm that her allows her to transform into a magical girl. Now it's time to fight some evil doers. Yukiko. And you to tell each other their greatest fears will grow each other's trust. Angie wants AV to give Saika a chance. You truly are an agent of chaos. And you thought it was Kurumi, but it was me, Dio. All sane, all calm tonight. But as you know, we're well within that top 12, so it's more than likely that we're gonna see the feast. As the cornucopia is replenished with food, weapons, and memoirs from the tribute's families, Yukiko pushes the Raiden Shogun off of a cliff during a knife fight. Rest in peace to the Electro Archon. Yuta! And Kurumi get into a fight over Rami, but Kurumi actually gives up and runs away, and he's killed by the elusive player Space One. No chaos transfer. Shuichi takes a staff leaning on the, uh, against the cornucopia, and is Katoka alive? She is not. She dies from an infection, which means we are down now to Yukiko, Yuta, Shuichi, and Kurumi. And if we see this... Yukio finds my boxing gloves in the cornucopia. Her hands are now rated E for everyone. Kurumi sets up an ice cream shack and nobody comes. Yuta says something wrong. Shuichi calls him a foolish fool. It's your final four. And uh, <coughs> Oh, well, well, I'm surprised, aren't I? And just like that, I was going to say your final four brings us to a Claire de Lune. I had almost perfectly timed the end of the music, but instead, the tributes are transported to the metaverse. You just surrounded by shadows and is unable to survive. His wife is gonna give him an earful. You really wanted that tag team gold. Yukiko drives around in a car collecting flowers, passes by Shuichi, where Yukiko waves and says, Good job! And Kurumi is unable to awaken the power of Persona and is picked off by the shadows very quickly. It is now Yukiko versus Shuichi. It is a magic car a ride versus the dude detectives to Pete. As we proceed, you see, we lost five of our seven. The final two after this terrible turnabout four. Raiden Shogun, Angie, Katoka, Yuta, Karumi. Which means we are not at a crisis of fate, as we see our body statuses. We are at the final two. The Dude Detectives and Magic Carpet Ride, Shuichi and Yukiko. Now I don't know which of these two is going to come out on top, but I can't ask you who will it be? Shuichi, Yukiko. Yukiko has Hajime on her team, a former champion via Fusion Ha fantastic tag team long long ago. Could she bring him another set of tag team gold? Could she bring herself some tag team gold? And could she bring Takamichi out of nowhere some tag team gold? It's a plausibility. But standing in her way is the man who has been here before just a season ago. Could Shuichi win again? Could the Dude Detectives win again? Shuichi, in the past season, had a great last season. Tag team champion and singles champion in the same season. However, could he try and do this all over again? Could he say, well, second verse, same as the first, tag team champion into singles champion. He could be trying to re 
emulate his success from last season, but standing in his way is Yukiko. Magic Carpa Ride, Detectives, live chat, comments, call it. Will the Detectives do it all again? Or will Magic Carpa Ride take you on a trip like none other to start off the Don Gone Olympics? I think it's time we find out that between these two teams, Shuichi, Yukiko, both, neither. We see Shuichi taints Yukiko's food, killing her and doing it all again. Who would have thunk? But once again, and guaranteed to stay together this season, that's the big kicker. It all ends, and somehow, some way, he's having the run of a lifetime. Because for the third time, in basically from like start of a season to start of a season, your winner. This team somehow, some way, finding strides, making strides, proving points, doing whatever they gotta do to make their names known, and now they are known. Once again for KG, once again for Lee Korn. And now Shuichi stands proudly with them because together, and I'll say it again, once again, your new your new two-time Don Gone Rampa Hunger Games Tag Team Champions KG Lee Korn Shuichi The Dude Detectives kick off the Don Gone Olympics holding tag team gold two times. I guess they're hitting a replay this season, because they said, we didn't win when Chaos reigned, but we sure somehow, someway know how to win Premier Shuichi. Once again, the run of a lifetime. Back-to-back -back seasonal, uh, season Premier victories. It's happened before. I think the Pure Boys did it, but there was a little bit of contention. I believe they did it, and when they did it, they actually were co-champions a second time. This time, there's no room for argument. They just did it again back to back. Congratulations to you, Shuichi. You earned it. You deserve it. And the Dude Detectives are walking into this season as well. Your Tag Team Champions. Major congratulations. Dude Detectives, somehow, someway, if they have, like, a really successful season, and I'll be frank, even if they don't have a super successful season, them winning back to back like this... Maybe cause for celebration. If they, but once again, I'll say, if they have a great season, if they somehow, some way, like retain this season or win like the next season premiere, you can say that they're guaranteed Hall of Famers, easily Hall of Famers. Do detectives? They're starting to make a big name for themselves. <laughs> and I'll be frank, I love KG, like Lee Korn, love Shuichi too. They might just do it. They might run with it. And I'm here for it. Shuichi, congratulations. You can go second place. So close, but so far. Akurumi third. Fourth was Yuta. Uh, fifth was Twin Magic's Katoka. Sixth, Angie. Seventh, Raiden Shogun. Eighth, Fatogami. Ninth, Katoko. And Lian rounding off your top ten. And I think the important thing to note here is a lot of these teams might not be together next or this coming season because... Tag Team Shakeup is about to come up. Meet the Teams is going to be next Thursday, so once and again, once again. No teams were finalized until the end of this episode. Um, make sure you enter any last minute tag team suggestions because no team is finalized just yet. They'll probably be finalized by Sunday. So if you got any more ideas, let it be known or forever hold your peace come season 14. And also importantly, Make sure you enter your OCs because that deadline is also fast approaching. Until then, we just gotta keep on keeping on. All the way, last place, Justice Hammer 1. You hate to see it. 
they were the last placing team, and we'll see it in a second. Seiko stabbed Justice Hammer 1, but Shuichi was the one who took the victory. In dead last, Justice Hammer 1. In dead last, Justice for All. But in dead first, Shuichi. And you know what? He only needed one kill to do with the kill at the very end. Kotoko had three. Kurumi had two. Yukiko had two. Everyone else was one or less. It was a shell, and the dude detective showed off. We'll go back to the reaping. We're done here. On Sunday, we'll be here for the double header. We will indeed be here for a double header. And it'll be a glorious double header, I, I guess. I suppose. <laughs> OC action, singles championship, and tag team championships on the line. We'll see who's walking to this Dong Olympic season with those titles. I'm excited for it. You better get ready, because if you're not ready, well, it sucks to suck. Toodaloo, flight crew. <laughs> Do I have anything else? OC, is it? The announcements that Wednesday gave me. I think we're all set. I think we're all set. You know what? Toodaloo Fly Crew. Thanks for watching and once again congratulations to your new two-time tag team champions, the Dude Detectives. And until next Friday for I guess I'll have singles action, and we'll start earning some points. Thank you for watching.